Well, I think you obviously need to, need to adapt yourself for the cameras and for the filming because it's a different philosophy, you know, of driving. So that's why you need to adapt your, your driving style. And uh, it's something cool because you can show something else, you know, to, the, to, to everyone for, for, for the camera. You can, uh, if the camera is very close to you, you can do something else like drifting the car or braking harder or, you know, doing different things that you don't really do on, on, on reality. And it's, some, it's something very cool because the cameras are all around you and they get really nice uh, images and pictures of you. It's, it's really cool. I think it's impressive. Well, I think Hungary was a good uh, Grand Prix, especially for, for the team, because uh, both of the cars were in the points, and I think this was very important for, for the team. For me, it was not really the best race uh, this year, I think. It was a difficult race for everyone, because the, the conditions were really, really difficult. And, um, and I think the pace we had, it was really good. We were seventh on the race, and at the end, uh, we changed uh, the tyres in the last minute, 15 laps to the end, when it, while it was raining. So I struggled to get the temperatures in the tyres, because they were new. And I made a mistake into turn one. I went wide and uh, Paul Di Resta and my teammate uh, overtook me and as well Rosberg and I came 10th. But I tried, you know, I tried my best. I, we knew that it was potential enough to, to be to be seventh, which would have been the best result for, for the team and for myself this year and as well in Formula One. But uh, I think it was great to stay on the points for, for all of us. And I think we're, we're having really good races in the last, uh, in the last races. And, and hopefully it's, it's even better in the second half of the season. Yes, I think so. I think that something changed. Something in Formula One has changed big time. I think last year we got used to a normal Formula One that we were always used to, to see. You know, the, the best car and the second car will finish like this. And uh, the races were more linear, less progression of the race. And uh, you couldn't see as many fights as this year probably as well because we have the DRS, we have the care system, you can play a lot with the tyres because the tyre degradation this year is quite big and uh, you can feel that in some races you, st you stop twice or, or, th or three times and, uh, and this is something cool because this is something that for, for small teams like us it's important to, to, to get the maximum out of the race pace, to get the maximum out of the setup of the car and uh, something that you can play more to, to finish more in the points. I think music uh, gets people get people very close ever, to everyone because music is a feeling and uh, and that's why my passion for music because it's something very deep for me and uh, and I like to DJ because it's something you can disconnect from everything and you can create while you play and you can create different sounds and it's, it's cool to see the crowd as well which fancies your sound and and they support you as well and and this is something cool because I've done it since I was 12 and now I do it more professional so it's something I, I always enjoy, uh, beside Formula One, obviously. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, Spa is a very important track for us because uh, last year we had a really good race there and I think um, this year will be, I think, a, a better performance for, for the team because we have some new upgrades on the car and everything looks a bit better for, for the race. So hopefully we are a bit uh, higher up on the standings on, on the Saturday in qualifying and therefore we can achieve some points finishes on the race on Sunday. Yeah, because it's a high-speed place and also, you know, that it's going uphill and downhill and it's crazy how it goes uphill and, and, and downhill like a rouge. You cannot really imagine how it goes uphill there. And you, you, you understand then when you do it flat with the Formula One car. So it's, it's really cool. It's a good feeling. For the drivers, I think it's, it's more than a normal track, for sure.